Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. And bring the right attitude to this. As John Swat used to say, come with an attitude of confidence, an attitude of clarity in your mind, that you're doing, going to do something good. All the Buddhist teachings teach us about goodness. It uses the word punya, which is often translated as merit, but it's really, really goodness. And it starts with a good attitude. If your attitude is sour, then everything you see is sour. Everything you taste is sour. If you come with an attitude of clarity, confidence, cheerfulness, okay, that changes everything. The fact that you're here with the breath is not a chore. It's an opportunity. Same way with being generous, observing the precepts. These are opportunities to do good. They're there to remind you that no matter how bad the situation may be outside, no matter how topsy-turvy the world, still there's always the opportunity to make a skillful choice, do something skillful, even if it means simply abstaining from unskillful behavior. That's a skillful thing to do. And if there are ways in which you can be generous, share what you've got with other people, go ahead and do that. As the Buddha said, even if it were your last meal, you'd still want to share, if you really knew the benefits that come from generosity. So come with an attitude of confidence. And as we meditate, we're here to complete our goodness. Because it's more likely that when you meditate, when you have been meditating, the mind will be in a better mood. Things will be a lot more clear inside, so that when you're generous and when you're virtuous, you're bringing the right attitude to these, these things. In this way, all the forms of merit, all the forms of goodness will grow. And the fact that you're behavior as you deal with other people is good, makes it a lot easier for the mind to settle down. There's a sense of well-being, a sense of confidence that comes from that. You can bring that attitude into the meditation. So all three ways of creating goodness in the world help one another along. If one of them is missing, it's like a stool that's missing a leg. To be solid, you need at least three legs. So make sure you've got them all covered, generosity, virtue, and meditation. If anyone is weak, you can do what you can to strengthen it. That when you think of dedicating your goodness to others, okay, it's a complete goodness. It's not full of holes. It's not moth-eaten. It's all in good shape. It's all complete. And that's the kind of gift you'd be happy to give, and the gift that others will be happy to receive.